zoonotic disease, clinical signs, diagnosis and treatment of leptospirosis infection in dogs. This video is based on the written work of Dr. Catherine Lunn, a veterinarian from the College of Veterinary Medicine at North Carolina State University. This video is a collaboration between the Veterinary Channel and the Video Vet Library. Leptospirosis in dogs sometimes referred to by the shorthand, lepto in dogs, is an infectious disease caused by bacteria in the genus Leptospira. Dogs are the maintenance host for Leptospira and Terragans Cerevar canicola, before widespread vaccination programs, Cerevars canicola and Icterohemorrhagiae were the most common Cerevars in dogs in the USA. The prevalence of canine Cerevars has shifted significantly in the last 20 years. Currently the most prevalent Cerevars are believed to be Gripotyphosa, Pomona, and Bratislava. However, this belief is largely based on serologic results that are now known to be inaccurate in predicting the infecting cerevar in dogs with leptospirosis. The cerevars that cause disease in dogs are likely to vary with geographic region and the presence of reservoir hosts. Unfortunately, current understanding of the cerevars that cause natural disease in dogs is limited by the fact that isolation of leptospires is rarely performed. Thus, studies to date have relied on serologic data. It is now accepted that the results of the MAT do not reliably predict the infecting cerevar in dogs or people with leptospirosis thus the true infecting cerevar is unknown in most cases. However, it is likely that the cerevars that cause disease in dogs are those circulating in local wildlife. Experimental infections and isolation of organisms from a small number of sick dogs have shown that Cerevars icterohemorrhagiae, Canicola, Autumnalis, Pomona, Bratislava, Sedroy, and Balam are capable of causing disease in dogs. Knowledge of the infecting Cerevar in dogs is essential for epidemiologic studies and vaccine development. It is less important for clinicians managing individual cases. It is currently not known whether specific cerevars are associated with specific clinical signs in dogs, and there is no published evidence to guide therapy based on cerevar identification. It is, however, extremely important for veterinarians to maintain a high index of suspicion for leptospirosis, because this is a zoonotic disease and has a wide range of clinical presentations in dogs. Any age, breed, or sex of dog is susceptible to leptospirosis, and the diagnosis should not be excluded on the basis of signalment or lifestyle. Canine leptospirosis is not restricted to large breed dogs, male dogs, or dogs with a predominantly outdoor lifestyle. Signs and symptoms of leptospirosis in dogs' acute kidney injury has been the most common presentation for canine leptospirosis in recent years. Dogs affected by leptospirosis may show these clinical signs, lethargy anorexia vomiting abdominal pain polyuria, oliguria, or anuria dogs that survive acute renal failure may return to baseline or progress to chronic kidney disease. Leptospirosis should also be considered in any dog with previously diagnosed chronic kidney disease that develops acute on chronic kidney injury. Renal tubular damage in leptospirosis may manifest as cylinduria, proteinuria, or glycosuria. In people, acute kidney injury due to leptospirosis is often non-oliguric and can be associated with hyponatremia and hypokalemia. These electrolyte changes have also been noted in canine leptospirosis, along with the expected changes ophazodemia hyperphosphatemia, and acidosis of renal failure. Hyperkalemia is also possible. Polyuria and polydipsia poo, PD, in the absence of azotemia is a less common manifestation of the renal effects of leptospirosis. Poo PD may be due to a decrease in glomerular filtration rate that is sufficient to cause loss of renal concentrating ability without azotemia. However, Poo PD can also be due to nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. 
Acute liver disease may accompany acute renal failure in dogs with leptospirosis, or it may occur alone. Affected dogs may be ecteric, and serum biochemistry analysis reveals increased bilirubin and alkaline phosphatase. ALT is typically less markedly increased than alkaline phosphatase. In people and dogs, the jaundice of acute leptospirosis appears to be associated with minimal histopathologic changes in the liver, suggesting that it is due to the cholestasis of sepsis, rather than to hepatocellular damage. Muscle pain stiffness weakness trembling, or reluctance to move can be seen in dogs with leptospirosis these may be the result of vasculitis myositis, or nephritis. Myalgia is commonly reported in human leptospirosis and is associated with the septismic phase of the disease. Less common manifestations of canine leptospirosis include bleeding disorders characterized by pedicule hemorrhages epistaxis melanond hematemesis. These findings are most likely due to vasculitis. Affected dogs may also be thrombocytopenic. However, platelet counts are rarely low enough to be responsible for spontaneous bleeding. The causes and mechanisms of bleeding disorders in leptospirosis are poorly understood, but they have been suggested to be associated with endothelial cell damage. Pulmonary hemorrhage is now one of the most common clinical signs in outbreaks of human leptospirosis. This is a less common finding in canine leptospirosis. However, cough or dyspnea, or radiographic abnormalities have been noted in a number of affected dogs. Uveitis is an uncommon manifestation of leptospirosis in dogs. It appears to be infrequently associated with experimental canine leptospirosis, but rare case reports exist. Additional clinical signs reported in dogs with leptospirosis include vomiting, diarrhea, weight loss, fever, hypothermia, oculonasal discharge, lymphadenopathy, effusions, and edema. CBC changes may include neutrophilia lymphopenia monocytosis mild anemia these changes are nonspecific however mild to moderate thrombocytopenia is seen in greater than 50% of cases. If detected in combination with azotemia or evidence of cholestasis, should prompt diagnostic testing for leptospirosis. Coagulation abnormalities may include increased fibrin degradation products and prolonged prothrombin time PT, or activated partial thromboplastin time APTT. Urinalysis may reveal hyposthenuria, isosthenuria, or hypersthenuria, depending on the degree of renal involvement proteinuria glucosuria cylinduria. Hematuria pyuria leptospirosis could also potentially be associated with renal tubular acidosis. Reticulonodular pulmonary opacities have been described in the thoracic radiographs of dogs with leptospirosis and attributed to pulmonary hemorrhage. These changes may be diffuse or predominantly involve the cotodorsal lung fields. Abdominal radiographs may be unremarkable or may show renomegaly or hepatomegaly. Changes noted on ultrasonography include renomegalipi-electasia increased cortical echogenicity paranephric effusion a hyperechoic medullary band these changes are not specific for leptospirosis, and absence of these findings does not exclude the diagnosis. Gross necropsy findings can include jaundice, effusions, and pedicule or echomotic hemorrhages on any organ, pleural, or peritoneal surface. The kidneys and liver may be enlarged, and lungs may be wet, heavy, and discolored. The liver is often friable with an accentuated lobular pattern and may have a yellowish-brown discoloration. The kidneys may have white foci on the subcapsular surface. Microscopic findings in the liver may include mild random hepatocytic necrosis, nonsuppurative hepatitis, and intrahepatic bile stasis. While swollen tubular epithelial cells, tubular necrosis, and a mixed inflammatory reaction may be seen in the kidneys. Diagnosis of leptospirosis in dogs ideally, a combination of serology and organism detection. Serology is the most frequently used diagnostic test for dogs. 
Acute and convalescent titers may be necessary to confirm a diagnosis. Hence, the use of the MAT is preferred over the ELISA. PCR-based tests are widely available, and collection of both blood and urine samples before administration of antibiotics should be considered for maximal sensitivity. The results of all diagnostic tests should be interpreted in light of the animal's vaccination history, clinical signs, and clinicopathologic findings. Treatment of leptospirosis in dogs' renal failure and liver disease are treated with fluid therapy and other supportive measures to maintain normal fluid, electrolyte, and acid-base balance. Supportive measures may include Antiemetics GI protectants phosphate binders hepatic support medications renal replacement therapy with intermittent hemodialysis or continuous renal replacement therapy should be considered for dogs that are anuric or oliguric despite appropriate supportive therapy. Antibiotic therapy is indicated whenever leptospirosis is suspected and should be instituted before confirmatory test results are available. There are no experimental studies in dogs to guide selection of antibiotic protocols for this species. Current recommendations are to treat with doxycycline, 5 mg per kilogram per day, IV or PO, for two week. For dogs that cannot tolerate doxycycline, initial therapy with a penicillin is appropriate, but this should be followed by a two week course of doxycycline to eliminate the renal carrier phase of infection. Dogs recently exposed to leptospirosis may be treated prophylactically with oral doxycycline for 14 days. Prevention of leptospirosis in dogs Commercial Bacterins for dogs are available for Cerevars canicola, Icterohemorrhagiae, Gripotyphosa, and Pomona. Vaccinated dogs may potentially be susceptible to infection with other Cerevars, although this has not been tested in an experimental setting. In general, currently available vaccines provide good protection from clinical disease and also appear to reduce renal colonization and urine shedding. Concerns exist regarding hypersensitivity reactions after leptospiral vaccination in dogs, but these appear to be unjustified based on more recent studies and perhaps associated with the use of more highly purified vaccines. Canine challenge studies have demonstrated duration of immunity of at least one year. Thus, prior recommendations for vaccinating every six mo are no longer justified. Zoonotic risk of leptospirosis in dogs Because leptospirosis is a zoonotic disease, all veterinary personnel should take appropriate precautions when handling known or suspected infected animals. Such dogs do not need to be placed in isolation but should be nursed with barrier precautions, paying particular attention to avoiding exposure of skin or mucous membranes to urine or blood. Infected dogs should be allowed to urinate in designated areas that can subsequently be cleaned and disinfected. The organisms are killed by all commonly used disinfectants. Owners of dogs recently diagnosed with canine leptospirosis should be advised of the zoonotic nature of the disease and contact their physicians with any health concerns. Owners should wear gloves when cleaning up urine and should wash their hands after handling the dog, at least until the course of antibiotic therapy is completed. Here is a summary of what we learned in this presentation. Knowledge of the infecting cerevar in dogs is essential for epidemiologic studies and vaccine development, it is less important for veterinarians managing individual cases. Leptospirosis is a zoonotic disease and has a wide range of clinical presentations in dogs. Acute kidney injury has been the most common presentation for canine leptospirosis. Acute liver disease may accompany acute renal failure in dogs with leptospirosis. Less common manifestations of canine leptospirosis include bleeding disorders and uveitis. Leptospirosis could also potentially be associated with renal tubular acidosis. Serology is the most frequently used diagnostic test for dogs. For the diagnosis of leptospirosis in dogs the MAT test is preferred over the ELISA test. Renal failure and liver disease are treated with fluid therapy and other supportive measures to maintain normal fluid, electrolyte, and acid-base balance. 
Doxycycline and penicillin are the antibiotics of choice for the treatment of leptospirosis in dogs. For the prevention of leptospirosis in dogs, yearly vaccinations are recommended. Because leptospirosis is a zoonotic disease, all veterinary personnel should take appropriate precautions when handling known or suspected infected animals. Zoonotic disease, clinical signs, diagnosis and treatment of leptospirosis infection in dogs, 